I mean, I'm excited to pull up. This is what I'm here to do. I, I come to cities, I take them over, everybody knows that. I think I have, like, you know, something to prove. Look, they can never keep me down going, and if I ever fail to snow, I'll go again. I never quit, because I know that every loss may lead to another win. I can't TVs, aka MK. I'm signing in live here at the OBL. We're in Houston, Texas. First stop in the OBL. I'm excited to take over today. I'll show you guys what I'm made of. I'm excited to make it out to Vegas, compete, win that 250k, man. Let's get it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Between my mom and my sister, you know, they know me as Matt. Like, no one gets the Matt or the Matthew, you know, like the, the soft side of me. Everyone sees MK and stuff like that, but, you know, I really try to support my family. Um, that's, all I, that's all I live for, to basically support my family and build another family. I'm from Toronto, so actually just a small suburb city out of Toronto. I'm from Newmarket, Ontario, home of basketball legend Kevin Pangos. Y'all don't know him, y'all don't really know basketball. I learned my game a lot after him. I modeled it completely off of him. He's tough, and that's how I try to be. He's a small little white boy like me, attitude, all that stuff. I think I'm the best to ever come from that city, but hey, we gotta have that game. We gotta have that game. Kevin Pangos, I want my 1v1, bro. My test is to, is to go against people that are pro, you know what I mean? Like, I know there's a lot of pro bodies in the gym, and uh, it's a big test to go at them and see where I stand, so I'm excited to see where I'm at, and then hopefully, you know, come out with a dub. I uh, got a scholarship to play in NCAA D2. Uh, played one year, didn't really like it, transferred. Didn't like school at all, so then I you know, dropped out. Thankfully got a pro contract, and then from there, uh, I took my basketball to YouTube and to social media. Um, and just kind of played for fun, and then the moment I started playing for fun, that was the moment when my game really started shining. I want to challenge myself. I want to go to that next level. I want to play professionally. I joke around about an NBA draft, like 2025, getting my suit customized and ready, but I'm being dead ass. Like, I really think I could play there, and y'all are going to see it. Like, when I come on the court, I'm going to be playing against pros, and I have a feeling. I just know I'm going to go dominate. Like, a lot of people we go. think I'm an underrated hooper. Some guys don't even think I'm a hooper. I'm going to go there, do my thing, and like 2025, see me in the draft. See me in the draft. That, that's, that's where it's at. I used to be the kid that pulled up to the court, nervous, shy. Now I go to a court, everyone knows who I am. They look up to me, they know who I am, they're scared to guard me, so I have that ultimate confidence. And that's all I lacked ever, I think. I'm the type of guy you want in this league. Street ball, Conor McGregor, you could call it. I want to have as many followers, high or low, whatever it is, but at least just have an impact on them and be able to sway them the right way. A lot of people are misguided and all that, and, and with the followers, with the influence I have, I want to do the right thing. So I'm not really paying attention to it, but just growing naturally, doing my thing, and then people that hop on the wave, you guys are gonna be swayed the right way and you guys are gonna be put on majorly. You just gotta believe you can do it and fucking make it happen. Like hard work literally makes it happen. I'm sure y'all can do it. I did.